Hi everyone, this is your tutor Ivan Serunjoji. In this video, we are going to be analyzing the dark stage. And this is the second tutorial on analysis of the dark stage. Let's go. In particular, we are looking at the effect of changing from high to low carbon dioxide concentration on amount of PGA and rub P. Basically, we are going to be analyzing the dark stage using our graph here. As we can see, our independent variable is time, whereas the dependent variables are amount of PGA, that is phosphoglyceric acid, or amount of rubup, that is lublose bisphosphate. So there are two conditions we are looking at, that is carbon dioxide concentration of 1% and another concentration which is a reduced one, that is 0.03% carbon dioxide concentration. So as we can look at our graph, this is the curve for the amount of rub P and this is the curve for the amount of PGA. Therefore, these are two graphs. When somebody asks you to generate a title for this graph or for this, you need to say graphs showing because this is one graph and this is the second graph. Anyway, we shall look at that in question approach. So, description of graphs above, in particular looking at the curve for PGA, this curve. So, in general, the steady stage level is reached at 1% carbon dioxide concentration. That is, the amount of rub P increases and remains constant with increase in time at 1% carbon dioxide concentration, and that is when light is on. Then, the same applies to the, the amount of PGA. It also increases and remains constant with increase in time. And that, all those two levels are what we call the steady stage levels for rubup and PGA. So, what happens? The amount of PGA, that is phosphoglyceric acid, reduces. That is when carbon dioxide decreases to 0.03% with light on. We see, that, we see that when light is on and we reduce the carbon dioxide concentration from 1% to 0.03%, what happens to the amount of PGA? It reduces. So, reducing the carbon dioxide concentration to 0.03% leads to reduction in the amount of PGA. What does this indicate? Yes, so, putting that aside, what happens? So we see the description of the graphs continued. We are looking at another curve, and that is the curve for rub. That is rubilose bisphosphate. Here is this curve. We are seeing that from the steady stage level, reduction in concentration of carbon dioxide increases the amount of rub P. Therefore, we see that the amount of rub P increases when carbon dioxide decreases to 0.03% with light on, as we can see. Rub P amount just increases. Why is it that? And what does this indicate? Indicating that regeneration of rub P exceeds conversion of rub P2 PGA. Remember, rub P is the starting substrate. 
it is the one with which carbon dioxide is fixed to form for us PGA, a reaction catalyzed by an enzyme called Rubisco. Now, remember that some of the pigal molecules are utilized in the regeneration of rubb. Now, since we are seeing an increase, since we are seeing an increase in the amount of rub with a reduction in carbon dioxide concentration, there are is an indication that its regeneration from pigal exceeds its conversion from that is the the, the regeneration of rubu p from pigal molecules exceeds its conversion to pga this is because carbon dioxide is in low concentration of 0 0.03% now, remember that, remember that conversion of rubu P to PGA, to PGA, conversion of rubu P to PGA requires carbon dioxide. And since carbon dioxide is in less concentrations, that means little of rubu P will be converted to PGA. Yet, the reaction that leads to its regeneration is independent of the concentration of carbon dioxide because we see that pigal just requires ATP which is from light and remember still we saw that pigal a lot of pigal molecules are formed in little carbon dioxide concentrations therefore we shall regenerate more rubu p in reduced carbon dioxide concentrations and therefore we shall see an overall increase in the amount of rubu. The trial question we can look at here is UNEB 2015 section B. You shall look at that section. There is a similar question with this graph. Try to attempt it and in case we can discuss the answers. Thank you for watching, click the subscription button and never miss, of, and never miss any tutorial we shall be putting up on this platform that is Easy Science International. Subscribe and enjoy more of our videos.